Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're going to bring you a little NBA 2K21 content today. It's our Charlotte Hornets My League. We're in season number one, and we're going to play games 11 through 14. Blow through four more games here today. We're three and seven coming into game number 11 on the road in Philly against the six and three 76ers. We are going to simcast the first three quarters as we almost always do. And we get into the fourth quarter with the Sixers leading by 10. A little fourth quarter action here. Now it's 94 to 76 with 7.20 to go. Sixers have blown this lead out to 18. Miles Bridges out on the left side. Martin over to Washington. Little jab step and hits the shot from the elbow. 98 to 80. 5.47 to go. It looks like this one might be out of reach and we are going to fall to three and eight. Here is Embiid with the fall away three. Are you serious? Like, I know he can hit threes, but falling away, Steph Curry style? No, no. I don't think so. I don't know. So it's 182, 514 to go underneath, and look at the throwdown by Tobias Harris and the Sixers get a 114 to 94 win they shoot 55 percent from the floor again we do not have good rim protection on this squad bismack biombo is about the only one and he's not leading our team in blocks it's actually pj washington right now so we fall to three and eight so we're back home now against the memphis grizzlies at the spectrum center we've got john moran and the young and eventually up and coming Memphis Grizzlies. 25.8 points per game and 10.3 assists average for Ja Morant. As you see the starting lineups for this game, we're going with Ball, Rozier, Hayward, Washington, and Zeller, as we always do. It's our regular starting five for now. And Memphis, as we uh, simcast the first three quarters, we are leading the Grizz by seven, now by eight with just under 11 minutes to go. Chance for us to get our fourth win of the season. Here's Valanchunas. To Justice Winslow. Rebounded by P.J. Washington. Quickly down court to Hayward. Into the corner for the three. Terry Rozier knocks it down. 90 to 83. We've got a seven point lead trying to hang on to it here. We've blown leads bigger than this. Nice little pass to, oh my goodness, Jaron Jackson. He blocked that and cradled it and pulled it down. Crazy stuff right there. And the Grizzlies go to the other end and score down to a five point lead. 9-10 to go in the game, Miles Bridges. PJ Washington guarded by Valanchunas. We're looking at Graham coming around a screen. Not a great pass. Doesn't put it right in the, uh, Spot where he would want it to catch and shoot. Here come the Grizzlies on the other end, and they miss. And here we go back the other way. Lamello. Quick pass down to PJ for the dunk. Beautiful feed. In transition, PJ Washington throws it down. 95-91 now. Grizzlies hanging around. Devontae Graham to Lamello. Down on the block to PJ. PJ underneath, nice pass to Jalen McDaniels. And it's 97-91. McDaniels getting some important minutes here. Midway through the fourth quarter. Six point lead, John Morant now. Jump step across the lane. And scores for the Grizz. We move on now, a minute 30 to go in the game. We're leading by four here, 108 to 104 trying to hold off these pesky Grizzlies. Here is Cody Zeller out here acting like a point guard. Hands to Hayward, and Hayward goes in for the flush. That was a set play. And we end up getting the 113 to 109 win. Fourth win of the season for our Hornets. We shoot 48%, nine of 21 from downtown. Grizzlies shoot 30 free throws to our 18. We have 54 points in the paint to their 40. And now we host the Detroit Pistons, who are 6-7. and seven. We are 4-8 and eight in game number 13. Downtown Charlotte, Queen City. Derrick Rose, who in real life was just traded. 
19.4 points per game. For him, Josh Jackson, Jeremy Grant, Blake Griffin, and Mason Plumley. The other starters for them. We've got our regular starting lineup going for us. And here we go with Sim casting the first three quarters. Blake Griffin. He's a little bit washed right now, I think. I, mean, I know he's frustrated in Detroit. But you know what? He's not really helping him. You can be frustrated if you're putting up 30 and 10 every night. But when you're playing the way Blake's playing, nah. That, that's on you. You're, you're making all the money there. Anyway, we are up by 8 again. Hayward knocks down the 3. Now we're up by 5 with just under 7 minutes to go. Trying to hold off another pesky team. I, I guess... Do we really call these teams pesky when we aren't aren't really a juggernaut ourselves? We're kind of pesky ourselves, to be honest. We're the pesky hornets. Here is Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant is... He's the reason that the Nuggets are going to end up out in the first or second round this year. They're just not the same team without him. I know Jokic is incredible and awesome, but they need Jeremy Grant. They need the depth. And they need him to space the floor. Another player to space the floor for them. They just, they need him. They're not the same without him. All right, one point game. 2.17 to go. 17 left on the shot clock. Hayward dumps it off to Biz. What are we doing here? A little bit disjointed. Hayward around another screen. Backs up. Shoots the three. And he hits it. 112-108. 140 to go in the game. PJ. PJ outside, bit down to Biz on the block. Biz has, oh, that's Okafor. I thought that was Rose for a second. That's Jalil Okafor. I was like, back that guy down. That's Derek Rose. No, it was Okafor. And somehow we're ending up in overtime with the Pistons, too. A few too many overtime games might cost us here. We might have to rest some players in the next game. In fact, I think we will, if I remember right. But Lamelo with the steal. Down to Washington, lays it up and in. Nice transition game ran there by LaMelo. 129-125. And LaMelo almost takes it away from Derrick Rose. Here is Wayne Ellington, and he th knocks down the three from the angle. Elbow extended, 129-128. We hold on to the lead with 120 to go. Here's LaMelo, guarded by a tired Derrick Rose. Over to Hayward, he's guarded by... Grant, right side, PJ hits the shot and that's going to ice the game. We end up winning 141 to 136. We win an overtime game here and we have now won two games in a row. Both of them were at home. Let's see if we can move on to a road win and a three game winning streak on the road at MSG. Five and eight Hornets at the five and seven Knicks. The Knickerbockers, the team that Derrick Rose was traded to in real life. Coming in at 5-7, Julius Randle. He's having a great year in real life. 24, 7.9, and 4, and 64% so far here in this My League. And we have actually dropped down a couple of spots in the power rankings to 27. That is not counting our last couple of wins, though. So we're sitting at 27th. We're wearing some throwbacks from the 90s and late 80s. Sim cast the first three quarters here, and we're going to go into the fourth with a 20 point lead. We'll take it. So, unless we have a complete meltdown, we're going to get our third win in a row here. Devontae Graham. 22 point lead now. Graham goes in, lays it up. That was a little too easy. 108 84. I've learned in this game, when it is coming easy, just take it. Because it's not always going to come easy. Here's Alfred Payton. Trying to work one-on-one -on -one with Graham, and Graham strips it away from him. Nice defense down in the paint by the little guy, Devontae Graham. Back out to Washington. No, rebounded by Zeller. Lays it back up, and in Zeller is cleaning the glass for us this season. He's doing a great job, and we'll look at that. Uh, his numbers on the glass just a little bit later. So a 119-96 win over the Knicks, and we have now won three games in a row as we close out this episode. After 14 games, we are sitting at 6-8, and, and that is episode number 6 
of our Charlotte Hornets Miley, Carol Mama's Basement, Sports Gate.